taking solace in self-imposed isolation, wrapped in a blanket of depression and loneliness. Nero's words of concern fell to the floor, as if unspoken or unheard. Taking solace in self-imposed isolation, wrapped in a blanket of depression and loneliness, Nero's words of concern fell to the floor, as if unspoken or unheard. she couldn't outrun the misery emitting from within. She sat down and allowed the waves to wash over her. So this is it. In the end, grief is the price we pay for love, she said. The Bible, torn asunder on the floor. Her many words of prayer gone unanswered, just like his words of affection. Her expensive medication still unopened. Thank you. 
her home between dust and shadows, retreating from the world that had tricked her into love, only to take it from her. sealed her lips forever, yet spoke to him of her pain in a thousand silent ways. He listened, and for a time he shared the weight of her grief.
Her lack of will to live did not mean she wanted to die. But a broken heart cannot mend if its most vital piece is missing. The slow bleeding of her soul could not be halted. the way David had done. His footprints would forever wash away beneath the waves of sorrow that swelled and crashed from their looming loss. The canvas of her life had precious few colours upon it. 
It remained a dark and cloudy sight. Aside from that sole bright and wonderful star at its center. At her end, she knew death to be the only deity who truly could come when called upon. She would carry on in the hearts of those who remained. She left a note for David, wanting to let him know how much she loved him and that she would be waiting for him. She wanted to tell him not to worry and to bring her one of his beautiful 